Welcome to Rise and Shine. I'm Shelby Barrett, the Stonette for the Stone Roadie Show, and it's time to wake and bake with Craig Reed and Griff Martin. Yeah, Craig talks about fat folks and cigarette smokers too. So if you're fat and like to smoke, you might look a little fun at you. Yeah, Craig likes to tell it like it is, so it's something that you want to know. If the feelings get her real easy, you'd be better not watch the show. If the feelings get her real easy, you better not watch the show. The Stone Roadie Show, podcast number. 185 wake and bake the morning buzz number 65 action all righty then good morning fellow earthlings looky here looky here it's hump day yes sir bob it's wednesday june 19th 2024 and it's another wake and bake morning buzz with your host craig reed aka the stone roadie also known in a small circle as the world's most famous roadie ever since the dinosaurs roamed the earth and my co-host the rocket scientist griff martin so what the heck are we going to talk about today on this hump day in June 19th, 2024 there, Griff Martin? Well, we uh, got a couple things that we can talk about. We're going to have uh, Brian Gibbons on Friday morning. He's uh, the guy that lost 150 pounds. He's also good friends with Peggy Smith, and we're trying to get her on. That was Ron Ronnie's girlfriend back in the day and uh we've already been talking to him about coming on and he's uh gonna do a test run with us a little earlier before we go on so that should be kind of exciting and then uh i sent craig the pipe and he put some water in there and it leaked so i gotta do a little uh i gotta do a little sealing project on that thing <laughs> Uh, you know, bamboo is not waterproof. So I got to, I got to work on a way to waterproof that on the inside. And then once we get it all fixed up, I've got another one here. Um, that one's just kind of like the test model. Prototype. Yeah. It works yeah, good a, though. I mean, it just, if you put it up on your desk, it would kind of leak. It don't leak yeah. until you get it up past here. And you know, if you put water in it and then put ice on it up to there, the ice melts and then it leaks yeah that's what so, i did you know but that's so that was the test model right there and then i'm gonna quality gonna control you know <laughs> at the house so we'll get it all fixed up and then by the time we give it away you can actually use it for your favorite tobacco yeah Not necessarily <laughs> but it did fun. work though right craig it did oh it works great yeah yeah it did that's work roadie gotta... trust there he's got it in this one in there yeah, we just got to uh, do a little bit more work on it. It's a work in progress, and yeah, we're still prototype, we're yeah. still wanting to uh, name it. So uh, anybody who uh, who wants to uh, name the bong, maybe what we'll do is we'll uh, – I kind of gave it away the last time is I, I was going to give whoever names the bong the bong, and then we're going to give a, a bong away too on our Friday drawing, so – so we'll give two bongs away and then send your, <laughs> your bong name to the stone roadie at gmail.com. Email yeah, that to him. He, don't, don't put it in the comments for, um, for the official entry, but you can put it in there just messing around if you want, but, <laughs> and then, uh, we got a lot of great comments. A lot of people. We're uh, talking about the uh, excerpt out of the uh, Ron Eckerman's book, and they they like the idea of reading out of a book. So we'll do that more. We'll start doing that some more. And I got plenty of books here to read from, and I'll dig around in there and look for some some interesting things that we can read out of, like some of the chapters, and then we'll get Craig's comments on them because Craig was there. 
So, you know, whatever, <laughs> whatever, uh, we read Craig can verify. Yay. Verily that did or didn't happen or, you know, I don't know how long it's been since I've been all there, but yeah, I, I think I was all there at one time in my life. I don't know. Maybe. Well, you remember. know, we're, <laughs> you got good days and bad days, you know, just like anybody else. I mean, there's some days I can't remember anything myself. And then the next day I'll remember it. It's, it's like when you play a guitar, like some days I'll pick my guitar up and I'll go, damn, what the hell was that chord, man? I can't remember that chord, you know? And then the next day I'll go, oh yeah, there it is. It's crazy. So I don't know, man, I guess the, uh, all the, uh, the, the brain cells have to be feeling good that day or something in order for, you know, some days are better than others. I remember when I was in aviation school and I was trying to remember, you know, you got to take a lot of tests and then you go to take the test and you're like, Oh man, this sucks. And then the next time, next time you, you go to take it, it's easier for some reason. So so that's they're, just the they're way doing it is. something to they're doing something to 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 some kind of frequency these all over all over the country during during when we're sleeping. Yeah, I see you that in Dop, some kind of Doppler radar is picking up they're throwing it's, all these high powered frequencies that are kind of like mic microwave it's microwaves. Yeah, yeah, it's microwave frequencies and they've been putting all this stuff in your food and it all these microwave uh frequencies are, are are actually messing with these uh, particles that that are in your bloodstream and they're that they can actually make them uh, magnetic and coagulate and cause blood clots and stuff it's crazy this stuff yeah yeah science yeah yeah Pay they attention showed, to science <laughs> there's a guy and i guess it's a satellite that you can see when those microwaves are going off and in all the major crazy. cities while we're sleeping yeah, when we're sleeping, and this, and this isn't just our opinion. This is fact. No, yeah, doing. yeah. This isn't conspiracy yeah. theory stuff. This is actually going on, man. And yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I was I was actually up uh, the other night, and I messaged that map to you, Craig. You probably got that's it. That's crazy. Messenger. Yeah, it, yeah. yeah they're doing it all night long. Yeah, it's crazy. That's some scary shit. Yeah, it's wild. All this yeah, stuff trying going to, to the food and trying to kill us. Yeah, yeah that's crazy. One big concentration yeah. camp. Yeah, they're trying to sterilize the whole the whole population and yeah, kids, and they're, and they're trying to yeah, they're it, yeah, they're it's crazy. Yeah. And then Craig was talking about that uh, Ozempic. Uh, Ozempic, or whatever the name of that. <laughs> well, <stuff. laughs> I turned on one of those. I just happened to cruise through one of them talk shows, and the the fat woman was talking to about Barbara Streisand was talking about some other fat actress that was had lost a bunch of weight, and Barbara Streisand asked if she was doing the Ozempic. I don't want to say that word, but. <laughs> Yeah, my my doctor said that all these women that uh, she I got have a woman doctor. She said all the women that come to see her are fat, and that they're all wanting to get on that Ozempa blah, 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 stuff. Yeah, the O drug. Yeah, the O drug, and she tries to talk them out of she. You know, she can't. But you know, if they want it, but yeah, I don't know exactly what it does. I know that you inject it in you, and it must try to do some of your appetite, but. You can't you can't eat and eat and eat and eat and lose weight. You can't do it. It's common sense. You know you 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 can't do it. You you know um, food food wasn't made to be a habit. You know you eat to, to to survive. It's it's not a habit. You don't eat just for for something to do. I mean you know you gotta <laughs> people have yeah. um, it's crazy. Well, you're actually made to hit something, chase something down and hit it with a rock. And then, you know, by the time you <laughs> pluck the feathers out of it and cook it over a fire, you know, you already lost weight doing it. So it's like, if you ever watch that program alone or naked and afraid, they're starving out there, man. You know, I mean, it's not like, yeah, yeah. 
And you can't yeah, if you do not eat, you cannot gain weight. It's impossible. I mean, yeah, it's just <laughs> flat out impossible. The only way you can gain weight is to eat. You know, it, that you can't make something out of nothing, you know? So I don't know. It's a crazy. But world. everybody has that one friend that can eat anything they want and they don't gain <laughs> any weight. <laughs> <laughs> I do know the people that eat a lot. Yeah and don't and don't you know they eat a lot more than i do and they're really thin you know yeah i mean you know I, there was this one guy um guy uh his name was ryan at work and he'd come in with a whole pizza he'd eat a he'd eat pizza he'd get some ice cream and the guy was like looked like a looked like a toothpick man and he could <laughs> eat anything he'd eat a big mac and some fries and a coke <laughs> You know, and he'd go, Hey, pull over, you know, let's, let's go over here and get some French fries. And I'd be like, man, how the hell is he doing that? You know, yeah. but, and he wasn't like he was, you know, out working his ass off or anything. He oh, was, I know some brothers that have heavy appetites and they're all, all of them are skinny. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. It's a metabolism thing, you know? So I think most people struggle with their weight. And, uh, there's no easy, easy fix for it. You just got to curb that appetite. So, but what am I? I'm not a dietitian. Craig's the dietitian. <laughs> he, well, it he, seems like that losing weight <laughs> is starting to become a fad, you know, but, uh, people are addicted to food. And they're finding it hard to lose weight when you're addicted to food. And yeah. It will I don't be know. To lose weight, you know. From what I'm seeing, though, you know, it's there. A lot of these women are trying to push it on other women to accept, you know, the fact that you're fat. Like, you know, Miss Alabama. It's oh like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then all those posts that you put on Facebook where these big girls are all big and sexy. <laughs> well, it's supposed to be a big trend coming out of uh, Hollywood now to lose weight. I don't know. It's, I don't know. Uh, Maybe it hasn't caught on yet. I don't know, but well, yeah, they, yeah, they're trying to. Line I guess the, the clothes uh, designers are trying, kind of stepping up, stepping on the bandwagon. You know, they're, you know, there ain't much you can do for you know for, you know, to I don't know designing clothes. I guess isn't real. Uh, uh, I don't know for when you're designing clothes, it, you don't have much to work with when you're dealing with you know big fat people i don't know <laughs> you just you know just use a lot of material <laughs> you know when you get that like for a guy when you get that big i call it a tool shed because it hangs over your tool you know and then you got to get some suspenders to hold up that the, the pants because your belly's pushing your pants down so you know it's yeah. it, it, it's uncomfortable whenever you're fat like that you know well, even Brian, I was talking to Brian doing a pre doing, checking out his equipment, and he goes, "People treat you different." He goes, "You know, just just when you talk to somebody, people treat you different when you're not fat like that." You know, and it, it's kind of common knowledge that you know more attractive people are kind of more successful in business, you know, or whatever that. Uh, you get treated better the you know the prettier you are the better people treat you you know and uh and i don't know that's that's what i've always heard anyways i always get me a, a five gallon um bottle of purified water rather than drinking out of the tap and i like to carry it out to my car for exercise and and it I forget how much that weighs. I think it's like 50 pounds. You know how much water weighs per gallon? Correct? Eight pounds a gallon. Eight or, pounds a gallon. Yeah, eight or nine. So I think yeah, milk so, is like 11 or something like so that. So it's close. It's a little under. It's under. It's running around 40 pounds, and that's pretty heavy. It's and you heavy. Carry, yeah. 50, 50, 40, a 40-pound 40 bag of salt is heavy, man. Yeah, yeah that, that's – and you carry that around, and you think about that, and that's – that's What's a lot point? of that's hard on the bones and the frame and everything that's what wears your hips out and your spine uh, there's nothing advantageous about fat there's there i don't know if if there is i'm 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 not aware of it i know of a lot of things that are 
to a disadded advantage of being fat, but I don't know of anything that is a, a advantageous to, to to being fat. I don't, I can't. I don't know. Well, I have brain damage. I don't know nothing, but you know. Well, that one guy that was on <laughs> Naked and Afraid, that big fat black guy, his plan was just to crawl into a into a little hut that he made a lean to that he made and just live off of his fat for the entire time. So he didn't do anything. Everybody was out scrounging <laughs> for food and he just climbed in there and slept like hibernated, like a bear. And he, and I think he won because he just lived off of his fat. So I guess I think if you he wanna... caved, I think that guy caved in right at the end. I think. Did he? I think I think so. I'm, I don't. I don't. But that was that his plan. Yeah, yeah. I think he but, caved at the end. I think. But I'm, that's what I'm, bears do. You know, they they uh, they get fat and they go hibernate. But humans can't hibernate like that. So that's harder than you. You know, you, you that's harder than the said than done. Living off your fat. You know, when you're addicted to eating you know yeah yeah you can live off your fat but tell your mind that it's harder said than done oh well, once your stomach shrinks it you're not you're not really hungry as much when you stretch your stomach out it's like that's what makes you hungry but uh i weigh 180 pounds so, and i could probably use and lose another 15 i think mine i just uh i need to do more exercise for muscle because if you lose weight you lose muscle and when you get old you don't feel like working out like you go the only gym <laughs> craig the, the only gym craig hits is the pipe name gym <laughs> uh, but anyway we can jump into these enough for the fat the fat topic some somebody's going to put in there you know you know, it's a Leonard Skinner, uh, <laughs> podcast and all you, and you wonder why you don't have any subscriptions because all you do is talk about fat people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was okay. The only but, people will, will lose is the great big fat ones, you know, so <laughs> the other like, ones can deal with look, it. It's only the great Greg, big fat people that get totally frustrated with it you know craig's on a mission though he wants to <laughs> rid the world of fatness no this last couple <laughs> weeks has been pretty bad for me i i got on a kick i was eating oatmeal during for breakfast and i i uh, you, uh, cut you blow up on. some yeah I, I i put on like five or six pounds so oh was, shit yeah, so yeah, I got up over a hundred and seven, one hundred and seventy-one. Yeah, so oh damn. Yeah, I'm back down to one like one sixty-six or whatever. Oh, so you That's already lost 165. it? Yeah, I already lost. So, well, it was only like a week ago. Ten oh, days. Day, yeah. Well, that's the thing. If you don't, yeah, have I a got into eating oatmeal for about two weeks. <clears throat> I was eating oatmeal. <clears throat> with banana and blueberries and honey and stuff yeah I, yeah and i i gained about six pounds you know just eating it when i ate <laughs> in the morning i didn't think i'd do that but i did you know but that's all i had all day long and you know not really early in the morning i didn't eat it until like 11 you know but you know oh well yeah, well, if you get on the scale and you see you're going up, then you know you got to do something about it. It's the people that don't weigh themselves that it gets out of hand. So, so get you a scale and uh, don't go. Well, I got to, a like, doctor's scale. I got one of them do uh, doctor's scale. Well, right. you know what a public super supermarket is, right, Greg? You know that. Oh God, yeah. Leader? have down in florida the the scale they put in there is about 10 pounds off <laughs> they want you to go in there and weigh yourself and then you go oh wow boy i lost some weight i think i'll go get some ice cream <laughs> you know and everybody knows the public scales off so yeah that, that's some pretty rotten shit for them to do to you there man go have a scale in the grocery store that's wrong <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay let's go ahead and jump into these questions and comments and 
maybe uh, some of it will pertain to Leonard Skinner. <laughs> <laughs> right off the bat, John Morrow. Craig, to your knowledge, has any past or present band members supported the survivors? Uh, no. No. Mm -mm. We don't know why, but, uh, you know. I guess uh, uh well Derek Derek Hess and Barry Harwood have Yeah um and they're pretty close to you know I mean yeah they have they've been Yeah they're been, they're ex band members as far as I'm concerned Yeah 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 they definitely support um they they've uh done uh some recordings there with uh Six Gun and and Derek went out to uh a lot of the uh, he went to uh rocking for a reason by the, rock. by the way i have six guns uh drum head oh uh, you oh did uh yeah i have that drum head that that is signed by uh oh i don't have it right yeah, here. otto brought it to you uh-huh yeah it's got barry's hardwood signature and uh, what are we going to do with that auction it off uh, yeah i guess we're going to auction it off here but i uh, you know, like I said, that thing's going to cost $30 to ship wherever. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Otto said he'd ship it, you know, but uh, yeah, they just want to donate that to the survivors. But we're just about, uh, I don't know, we're uh, probably that's going to be have to be on the, uh, the, the winter version of the donations. We're kind of wrapping that up. I'm going to be sending that out. I've got it all, that almost wrapped up here and be sending out checks. I'm just waiting for a couple more checks to come in that uh, people are sending in, you know, and bump it up some, you know, a little bit. Yeah, and that was a nice little, you, you, uh, uh, donators really did a great job, man. That's a big chunk of change to send out to those survivors. They're going to appreciate yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that helps them out quite a bit, you know, because, uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, medical bills and, you know, when you get older and you've got injuries like that, it's tough, man. It's really tough. So that's a very well appreciated. Um, yeah. yeah so John I didn't, didn't hear, didn't hear anything back from anybody saying, Hey, I donated and I didn't hear my name. <laughs> well, actually there's somebody in here that mentioned something about something. I'll, when we get to it, uh, oh, okay. you'll know what it, you'll know what it is. It's not a big deal or anything. So, uh, yeah, John Morrow. Yeah. There's been some band members that have helped out. Um, you know, I think uh, for the most part, a lot of well, the there's guys none are, left. I mean, there, yeah, there, there aren't left. any left. I mean, Artemis, yeah. Artemis is the only band member that's left. Yeah. And, uh, you hell know? he was on the plane. He could probably use some help himself. He just don't yeah. want to admit it. <laughs> He's a survivor himself. He needs, yeah, yeah. he should. We should be donating to him too. Yeah, everybody that was on the plane. Yeah, he's, you know, he's they were, not. He's he hasn't he you know he's not part of the money machine you know. So yeah. we can't. Uh, well, know. Craig and I, you know, do what we can. We don't worry about what other people do. We just doing doing what we can. We're we're the ones trying to make a difference, and we're not worried about other people what they do. So, um, but who knows. Maybe, maybe some multimillionaire will come along and go, Hey, you know, that's a good thing to donate to. Well, everybody, we started doing this podcast. I was under the impression we, you and me is going to be supposed to be millionaires. And we, yeah, no. I, I said, hell, we're, if we, we're going to be millionaires. We'll just donate it to the damn survivors. And, you know, I'm sure that some of that will trickle down to us, but <laughs> that ain't happened yet. <laughs> 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 no, no, I think uh, you that, guys, you guys were wrong. We were, we, we didn't make, we didn't, we, we're not millionaires yet. You know, what's if anything, on? they'll pull, they'll pull Craig's <laughs> channel because, you know, we're so politically incorrect that you might get yeah. up one morning and go, where's the stone roadie podcast. They might take it off the air. Yeah, you guys are going to be millionaires. What are you going to do with all that money? Well, we'll donate it to the survivors. Well, they're still waiting. <laughs> yeah. That's... I guess that's our fault is we don't, we're, all we do is talk about fat people. We don't <laughs> talk about no information that they want. Well, to and then, 
We're you just know. trying to save their life. That's not enough for them. <laughs> and then we talk about politics too. So that's oh, kind of yeah. not yeah. a good topic for the liberals to hear. And, and, and all the, uh, the media is all liberal driven. And so, Oh you my know, God, did you say, hear, did you see that, that woman that the press secretary was trying to cover up for, for him? Oh yeah. They're trying she to said say that's that, fake, that that's yeah. fake footage that that didn't happen oh that's fake that didn't really happen yeah. my god if you people believe these people i don't know yeah they, yeah she yeah they, they they're lying about saying saying oh, that it's she, fake that's fake footage they made yeah. that it's cheap 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 fake footage you're oh my god well you know the guy's like he's he's lost it man and you know but you can well, you can see Oblama, Oblama. You can yeah, see help him off the grab, stage, grab him by the wrist, and help him. <laughs> I mean, oh, that didn't happen. That's that's <laughs> fake. That's fake. That didn't happen. Yeah, he. That Thank was God. obvious. That was obvious that he helped. And him then off that the paratrooper stage. guy, he turns around, he's looking in the wrong <laughs> way. No, that's fake. That didn't happen. Yeah, they had to turn him back around and point him in the oh, right direction. God. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's almost funny, but you know, he's the fall guy. He's the patsy. They can blame, they can do what they want and just blame it on him. So well, Thursday, their Thursday is going to be interesting. They got that, uh, 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 they, what do they call them? Damn things. Um, debate. Yeah. They got the debate. Well, they're but yeah. I guess well, now they got it. So when one person is talking, the other person's microphones shut off, so they can't interrupt them. I guess that's. And funny. they're also, I heard they're putting uh, no, no crowd. There's no cat. There's no crowd. There's no audience. I guess and uh, yeah, they've got it all. I don't know. It's out. all. Uh, I don't and know. they're putting a fence around the uh, the Supreme Court for some reason. A big fence. <laughs> Why are they doing that? Yeah, there's some mm -hmm. crazy stuff. And, and just uh, get you a big old thing of popcorn ready because there's more to come, much more to come in this election year. That's why Craig and I said we're not going anywhere, you know, because like they like to have events and things sometimes, and, and we don't want to get stuck somewhere whenever they shut the grid down. <laughs> it's Yeah, it's... Uh yeah it's, it's very it's, sketchy yeah it's hard to tell what they're gonna they're gonna pull something they're, they're, oh, yeah, that's they're coming. not gonna give it up easy they're, they're gonna you, try to stop stop it you know and you heard it here first so whenever well, i've heard it i've heard it in a lot of different places <laughs> so i'm just repeating what other people say <laughs> we'll take credit for it whenever we can go yeah, back I'll and go. It, yeah we'll go back and go we told you so <laughs> Uh, yeah I, I don't know and they, you know if they shut the grid down that's going to be a rough one a lot of these people that need to go down to the grocery store and get their you know when, get their their when cereal it comes to chaos when it comes to something's going to happen that causes <laughs> chaos yeah i told you so yeah <laughs> something's going to happen yeah that's for dang sure i kind of like being a conspiracy theorist <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's better than yeah. being a sheep and just following along yeah, yeah it's and i better. like people that act like that too i'm drawn to them <laughs> okay well, let's move along see jeff says good idea reading excerpts from the books and uh yeah i call that the skinner library so uh Somebody else in here said there was a name for. It. I think that was a wheelchair. Chuck had a name for it, but yeah, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go through and and you know read stuff out of books here coming up. Not all the time, but uh, periodically. Um, let me see. Oh, uh, Mike Neighbors, name that bong the Reed Bama bong or Stony. Yeah, let's uh, email that to Craig and see and see uh what he thinks and uh like i said we're gonna give a couple bongs away we'll give uh we'll give one away to whoever names the bongs and then uh and then we'll uh just give one away on a friday and we only got 
what a couple more weeks for this uh for this giveaway season's over yeah the the, the till summers in the in the summertime when the weather is hot <laughs> <laughs> well, i think it was user said that that uh that that she googled that song and there is no kazoo in that song well, no, I know, but but the way Craig plays it, we know what song it is. Is that's that's what I meant, you know. When he gets on that kazoo, you know what song it is. Um, but <laughs> well, yeah, um, <coughs> cousin Figel said that they when they played <coughs> with um, <coughs> Rod Stewart, I think he said they played with. They opened up for Rod Stewart, and uh, yeah, it was uh, Mungo Jerry, and they 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 handed out kazoos, uh, and he signed them. I guess, um, I guess you know, cousin Figer said during that song they were all playing the kazoo, though. But you know, yeah. it's it, it's a fun song to play the kazoo to. So I got, I guess somebody told, said, wrote in to tell Craig to. Quit playing in the, the kazoo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to find uh, who they don't knows. want me to sing, they don't want me to play the kazoo. I feel like Barney, you know, they didn't want Barney to play the harmonica, they don't want Barney to sing, you know, I feel like Barney, Barney Five. Yeah, I, was, <laughs> I was trying to find out who was it that said i got it written in here somewhere they said get craig off of that damn kazoo i think you wrote that you're all the time <laughs> no i got the guy's name i got the guy's name in here yeah i got the guy he name says that here. thing comes right through my earbud <laughs> it, it is man it is loud uh see Kent Griffith, uh, he said, uh, Alan Collins told him, this is came right out of Alan Collins mouth. He said, the drunker Billy got the better. He played piano. <laughs> That's kind of true. Yeah. <clears throat> and yeah. he also said that, you know, that, uh, Ronnie was just probably pissed off cause he was drinking too much. <laughs> Maybe that's why Billy was jumping in his shit. And then. And then before you know it, he he punch you in the mouth, you know. <laughs> did did Ronnie get like drunk, and then when he was pissed off a, about something that happened on stage, would he go visit that person in their room? Oh, know, it did. It, that it, that would that would happen in the dressing room right after the show. Yeah, oh, it did. He was pissed off about something during the show. Yeah. They would find out about it in the dressing room after the show. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Or, or if we got in the car and went back to the hotel, yeah, he would. Yeah, he would. What uh, would he do? Would he just like? He oh, would, he he'd beat their door down and just oh you know, yeah. It would. It was. It was a. He would create a spectacle. Yeah. So, like, say if it, that's what happened with with Ed King, I guess when that it was always. Broke. That's what I always say. It was always way taken way out of context. Always. Everything was taken way out of context. You know, everything. Oh, um, Ketone says he won. I guess he was one of the ones that Keaton, won. Yeah, yeah. 163, yeah, yeah, he won, you know. So he He's said he winner. sent you an email. He did. He, he said, did. He sent me an email. Okay. I got him wrote down. I got him wrote down. You're wrote down, dude. So was he? It was yeah, he, he, the he's the official winner. winner. Yeah. Yeah. And forty three. They're they're the uh, auxiliary winner. <laughs> did <laughs> like, they get back? Like with we him? did that before. That's the second time we've done. Yeah. That. Yeah. Actually, wow. we got three auxiliary winners. Uh, Denise Soares we, was an auxiliary winner. We just kind of, you know, took a notion to draw out a winner, and so we did, you know. Yeah, you just picked the jar up and shook it. And yeah. 
Which was good because she had two numbers and you had to figure out. I think we've got it. it. I think I have to send out like a dozen things. I think we've got like a dozen winners. Yeah. And stuff out. But, you know, the people that won that I didn't haven't sent their stuff out, we still, you know, we're getting stuff in. And like I said, I'm going to add something in there that nobody is, expect, is expecting, you know. So, you know. You won't you won't bitch me too out too much about all this. Yeah, once you get your package full yeah, of all that stuff with that, me. with that, with you know, that, he was a son of a bitch, like like Brian Gibbons <laughs> said when he was starting to lose weight and he was listening to me. He, that son of a bitch, and then he he, yeah. <laughs> he said. I damn everything he says is true though. <laughs> I'll never forget what because that's what. You know, I didn't even know who Craig was, and I would see him on Facebook, and there'd be some big old heifer chick chewing Craig's ass out about a post he put up there, and Craig's <laughs> arguing with her, but he's doing it real calm like, you know, and everything is, well, you must be fat if you're upset, in my <laughs> opinion, you know, and then that's when I, Joe Crimp told me who he was, and I was like, well, if he worked for Leonard Skinner, that makes sense you know <laughs> well they forget i was obese you know i mean i was <laughs> obese i know what it's like it's you know it, I, you know i don't care what you say nobody likes being <clears throat> fat it's just you know if if you don't put your mind to it it's hard to lose you know yeah yeah you can't be half ass <laughs> about it you gotta be serious about it it's you know or it ain't gonna happen well it's one thing's for sure it's unhealthy Oh, so, it is. It's, it is it's ridiculous. Like you said, carrying around an extra 40 pounds. Yeah. Why? It's what for? It's stupid. I mean, well, what's the point? Well, just cause you, know. you just cause you like to eat. I mean, that's the only thing advantageous about being fat is you can satisfy the fact that you like to eat. But nothing no, tastes but as good as skinny feels. It, people don't realize that, you know, <laughs> Brian Gibbons will come out. He's going to tell you, man, it changed his life. You know, Yeah. he said, he says he lost 150, but he told me, he says, Craig, I quit counting after the, the scale got, <laughs> yeah, we're, <laughs> you know, we're going to ask him how you know, he did it says, it's probably been more than that. He says, cause seriously, I quit counting. Yeah. We're going to ask him how he did it. And, th and Brian, he was on the stone roadie fat shaming diet. So that's. <laughs> That's how he lost. Well, he was on a diet that just happened to coexist with, with what I was saying, you know, uh, intermittent fasting, you know, everything I was saying was stuff that he was learning about and going, well, yeah, that's, that's kind of what I'm trying to do, you know? So, yeah. And what a nice guy he is too. Yeah. I talked to him on the phone and he's a country boy and, you know, and he's, uh, he's got a really good disposition. So he was pissed off at first, but then he realized, and probably when he started losing, he was probably going, you know, that damn Craig's right. Well, Craig is right. You know, he just doesn't have a good bedside manner about it. That's all. <laughs> like, kind of <laughs> like a drill sergeant. Just, hit, you know, just hits you in the face with it. You know, it's not pretty, you know, but it's a fact, I, you know. I mean, what it is, I'm going to tell everybody what it is. <laughs> Craig is the reason he goes around and abruptly telling people about how fat they are because he's afraid he's going to gain that weight back. And if he does, <laughs> if he tells you those, you know, how fat you are and everything, then there's no way he can gain. Oh, weight there's back no way. He'll be no, criticized to death. No, He'll I call you a fat no ass. Way. They'll say, Hey, <laughs> Hey, you stone fat ass roadie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah every time i call somebody a fat ass i don't eat for a couple of days <laughs> i make sure i don't get fat. that's what it is <laughs> exactly he was eating that oatmeal and then he oh, saw God, one of those yeah. magnets on his refrigerator that dave sent him <laughs> <laughs> okay let's see user User, yeah, user's getting a little cocky here lately. She's getting a little kind of like, uh, you know, I've been noticing a little tone. That's okay, user. That's all right. We love you still. <laughs> she says, uh, Ronnie uh, being drunk and violent is quite the contrast to the stories of 
that she's heard of how nice he was. Very interesting. Yeah, Ronnie, he had a great side, and then he had that drunken side where he was just a complete yeah. asshole. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, yeah. Yeah, what was yeah, it? Be, just it one? Back, in, back at home, sitting in the fishing mm -hmm. boat, totally different person than the person that was out on the road, you know? Oh, totally, yeah? Totally different person. Well, not totally different, but, you know. You know. So, so when he was on the road, he was probably stressed out all the time. You know, I mean, from, I mean, that's a lot of, that's, that's, you know, when you're out there, like he said in the book, the front man, he's got to go out there in front of thousands of people. And did you ever hear Ronnie mess up? Like, did he ever sing a no, verse wrong no, or anything? I never forgot words or, no, I never heard him, did hear him forget words or anything, yeah. Never did, yeah. But like but he said he never wrote anything down. It was always he never forgot words. I remember, um, I forget where it was, and uh, Ed King and uh, he was out on stage, and they were playing "Sweet Home Alabama." I can't remember where it was. And the entire time Ed was playing his lead riff, Ronnie was staring at his guitar and his fingers, like you know waiting for him to mess up so he could jump his shit later. You could tell that's what he was doing. <laughs> and old, old Zach Lane does the same thing. Like if you're playing jamming with Zach, he's, he's staring at you the whole time, you know, so he can go, no, that's wrong, man. Because, you know, <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, because he, you know, if you mess up, he's going to jump your shit. So, but uh, I guess that's easy to do when you're when you're good when you're a good guitar player. Uh, let me see. Great got great observation, Griff. Uh, come to think of it, uh, I haven't seen any dried up white dog turds out on the ground anywhere <laughs> lately. Has anyone else noticed this? I know. Isn't me. that odd? I haven't yeah. seen any dried up white dog turds either. It, it might have something to do with the chemtrails. They're blocking. <laughs> they're blocking a certain smaller know. array that that pulverizes the dog turd. Because no, there's not any more it's white a dog twilight turd. zone. Did you see that thing I wrote? Uh, I posted today about Sat Squatch man. And them. Uh, uh. Uh. That oh gosh, man. Yeah, that's all. That that's a whole civilization of people that. Really? Yeah, it existed, and you know, the, yeah, it's a, uh, it's quite interesting. Yeah, I know a guy who uh, he's got an airboat, and he goes out, and this guy he'll he'll go stay out in the swamp, and sleep with a moccasin, and he swears to God that there's there's uh, yetis out there and and sasquatches, and he says he's he's seen them, he's heard them, uh, but. I've been out in the woods quite a bit. I've never seen anything like that, you know. <laughs> I yeah, don't know. This guy's saying they're they're uh, kind of interdimensional or whatever, and they're able. Yeah, it's. Uh, well, you think they'd find a skeleton of one or something by now? Yeah, they're uh, they're they're able to do a lot of stuff. I guess I don't know. I didn't. Well, I didn't get a chance to, to see the whole thing, but uh, it was kind well, of. Well, they're saying back thousands of years ago, people were like fifteen feet tall, you know, and fifteen a hundred feet. Yeah, yeah. when well, the Bible uh, actually a like, hundred feet tall. Yeah, oh. and even the Bible talks about you know, as you know. Well, they're finding these big skeletons, and but. Why, why, do, why does uh, the Smithsonian and the government, why do they, why do they hide all this stuff? All this yeah, stuff there's... they find that they can't explain, they hide because it interferes with, with all the other lies they've told everybody about history. Yeah. There's and so it, much it, stuff in the, the history that's gone on and we've been lying goes about it. So right into the flat crazy. earth. Yeah. That goes right into pretty the flat crazy. earth. Because they're saying in the Bible, the Bible says that the earth is flat, you know, and then there's some pilots that talk about how the earth is flat even. So I don't know. I kind of, I don't see how I could, 
could be I a big know. dome, you know, who built the dome and how is it a big dome and, you know, and what, and what are the stars and all of that stuff? You know, is it a hologram or I don't know. I, I think that you're going to have to do something to prove me with that flat earth thing. Cause I know a lot of astronauts and I don't think they're all going to, you know, into a room and going, you know, don't, don't tell anybody. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I think that. Well, uh, there could be there could be something out there that's a thousand times smarter than we are, and to us, we're to them, we're just ants. You know that that's, <laughs> yeah, yeah. that's possible. You know, well, we, I mean, we we can't. You know, ants are there, yeah. but you know, we're not able to communicate with them. Maybe they're not able to communicate with us. It's hard to yeah. say what's going on we've been lied to about everything we don't know i don't know what's going on that's the problem is everybody's starting to realize they've been lied to and and yeah, the there's been that times are... in my life i've thought i've been here before and i'm you know how many times <laughs> have i been reincarnated you know god is maybe we don't want to know on. <laughs> maybe we don't want to know there's there's times that you know i've i've done things i've gone now this isn't the first time this has happened to me i've been here before yeah that know, deja vu. The, yeah it, I, I, whoa i've done this before you know well that's <laughs> like what i've been saying about you know before when you would go to sleep and you had a nightmare and you would wake up and you would go Boy, what that was a terrible nightmare. I'm glad that was just a dream. Now you're living in a nightmare and you go to sleep and you hope you don't have a nightmare. And the only way to get out of the nightmare is to go to sleep. Cause yeah. Yeah. When you were kids, you you had nightmares about the monsters, but when you grow up, the re you realize the monsters are just other humans. Yeah. They're real. <laughs> yeah. Really? It's true. Like, it's like true. the president of our the country is a monster. Just other humans. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then I was seeing where somebody said, somebody sent me a message. I, I haven't checked the Griff Martin Facebook and somebody sent me a message and they were going, you know, I didn't vote for either party. Yeah. But, but you know, you got to choose man. And if you choose, if you don't choose Mr. T then you're going to get Mr. B and I don't think you want Mr. B. Oh God. And that's like, that's like saying, you know, if you're on the Titanic and, and you know, you're sinking cause you just hit the iceberg, which they say is another thing. That's a lie is the Titanic, but, and, and you got a ship that's coming to rescue you. That's called Mr. T and you go, no, no, I'm not, I, I don't like that. Mr. T ship. I don't want to be rescued by him. I just want to go ahead and sink. <laughs> That's what's at right now. Definitely where it's at. Oh, well, I'm 73 now. I don't <laughs> think I want to live more than maybe about 27 more years. I think after about a hundred, I think I'll be done with this body. <laughs> it's getting pretty worn out as it is. I wouldn't kind of wouldn't mind a big nuclear blast to take me out all at once. So I don't have to suffer. You know, I don't want to know what hit me. Seeing all this stuff's happening. is kind of, kind of amusing, kind of interesting. You know, I mean, you know, I grew up in the fifties, you know, and I've, I've lived through the fifties, the sixties, the seventies, the eighties, the nineties, the two thousands. And it's, Oh yeah. It's it's, it's, get, it's getting like the twilight zone, man. It's it, like, you gotta be, you can't be serious. You know I know I mean? it's, it's, how a, did people get this stupid so quick, man? You're actually living <laughs> in a, in a damn movie. People are twilight insane. Zone people movie. are mentally ill. There's so many people <laughs> that run around that are just mentally ill. Just look at them. I mean, just, well, God, yeah. all the mentally, I mean, just, it's crazy. The one thing that got me is they showed, uh, Mr. B standing up there, you know, with, um, with, uh, the vice president and her husband, and they were saying, look at him, look at him. He, he, he doesn't even know where he's at. Well, they weren't even talking about the black dude with the beard that had a woman's dress on standing <laughs> next to <laughs> I'm like, you're worried about that, but you're not worried about the black dude with the dress on with the beard that's up there with the freaking president. 
I'm like, come on, man. You know, it, it, we, we accepting that. If they'd have done that in the 70s, uh -huh. they'd have been, who the hell is that dude with the dress on? Can you imagine stuff like that on the Twilight Zone back in the 50s? <laughs> I <guess>. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, yeah, man. I don't know. <laughs> okay let's get back to these comments here um yeah chuck says this is wheelchair chuck says you need to call it mr edwards neighborhood when you read from the skinner book <laughs> books well well i'm just gonna call it the skinner library time you know mr rogers mr edwards yeah mr <laughs> edwards neighborhood <laughs> uh dave the disciple says he uh loves ron eckerman's book um he loved it when he described uh <laughs> when ron was walking with the band to get on stage he said it felt like he was there <clears throat> yeah that has to be uh pretty cool you know craig you've done that right you've been like walking oh, god, with the band yeah. right before they get on stage and you're oh my god yeah yeah that was and then so when they come out on stage walking up on stage with them yeah with the flashlights and stuff yeah and everybody's screaming and raising hell oh my god yeah going out there with the band mm -hmm. with the holding flashlights so they're getting them up on stage and going up with them well, yeah, what did they trip, man what did they typically start off that what was usually the first MCA, song mca mca always, yeah always mca yeah yeah always. yeah i love that mca man that's like one of my favorite songs is mca yeah it was always mca <clears throat> of course you know the the needle and the spoon and and all of that man those are just timeless songs yeah i had a thought about bob burns somebody Somebody mentioned uh, a name for the for the for you for your uh, bong, the Bob Burns. I thought yeah, that, was, that might be cool, in here. but it kind of it was kind of cool because you know Bob Burns, he was he was him and Gary kind of started the band. You know, I mean, he knew Gary was the guitar player, and then. You know, uh, well, R Ronnie was there, and the, the 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 first three in the band were were uh, were Bob and Gary and and Ronnie were like the first ones in the band, and then they got then they got Al uh, Alan, you know. Yeah. So it was like you know it was like Bob, Gary, Ronnie, and Alan were the first four, and then before they could get it together and get. Uh, you know, get organized and stuff to the point where like Gary was the president and Ronnie was the vice president and and uh, Alan and you know, was uh, secretary, I think he was, or something like that. You know, when they gave herself all the titles, you know, Bob got fired, got uh, dislocated from the band before they ever got organized. So. You know, he was one of the first four horsemen that started that band that was... Oh, yeah. Uh, he was yeah. the first one to to be dissolved from the from the whole situation. Only because he went crazy, you know? Yeah, I mean, but just... yeah, but he wasn't... You know, he was, well, he was one of the first, first ones in the band before Alan was in the band. I remember... Uh, one of the first three. Gary, in an interview, he said... He said, it didn't matter if you knew how to play the guitars. It's just if you had one. <laughs> yeah, really? Yeah. He goes, one, hey, yeah. why don't we get that Alan? He's got a guitar. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was what if you had a guitar. It wasn't if you knew how to play yeah. one. And then, but, you know, but those guys, man, they, they, they might, they didn't know how to play guitar to begin with, but they sure figured it out. And they, they taught each other how to play and they didn't play anything alike nothing they didn't yeah. play two licks alike they didn't play two licks alike you would think they would know a couple of the same licks they didn't they, they didn't know two licks that were alike and they learned how to play off each other it's kind of weird you know they, yeah. they totally different styles 
they learned off each other, but they're totally different styles. It's kind of kind of odd to me. I don't know. I'm not a guitar player, so it's kind of weird, but it just seems kind of peculiar. But that's all they wanted to do, though, was play guitar. And yeah, yeah, I remember Gary was in an interview saying they were thrown in jail one time, and and they kind of wished they had their guitar so they could play in jail while they were in jail. <laughs> they, <laughs> that's all they did was play their guitars, man. That's, you know. They were all looking for something to get them out of Shantytown, out of Port yeah. Town. They were all looking for the way out, man, and that was it, you know. And that then, was the way out to them. That was the one, the only one way out, baby. <laughs> you know, and, and of and course, Ronnie. It, you know, I mean, Ronnie. If man. it wouldn't have worked, they'd have been screwed. If it wouldn't have worked, what the hell would they have done? You know, I mean, <laughs> no. yeah, Gary was driving an ice cream truck or tr flower truck, or I mean, you know, was, what the hell would they have done? You know, they didn't know how to do anything else. It's like they they, they admitted that we don't know how to do nothing else. That's true. They didn't but, know how to do nothing else. But they would probably still be alive if they wouldn't have formed Leonard Skinner because that's kind yeah. of what killed them. Yeah, yeah, you know, all the drug use. and But who knows? They might have done that anyway. You can't. That was it. They lived, you know, Gary, Gary, you know, made it to 73, you know. Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty good life, you know. For somebody who was a hellraiser. No, oh, yeah. Whole life. He lived, a, you know, he lived a good life. It's kind of. Kind of went downhill in the last few years, but you know it was better than, you know, than Ronnie or Steve. You know, Steve is a real, the real tragedy. God, Jake, you know, because he yeah brought into this and only had a well. He was he was pretty successful prior to Leonard Skinner. That no, you know, nobody, none of the band knew how how successful he actually was before he got on stage for they that they thought he was some a bar punk but he no yeah. he'd been you know nobody ever realized he was in the detroit bands and stuff like that nobody realized that well, they I, say when he broke that slide out i guess at the holiday inn and played t for texas they were like what in the hell have we got here this guy is good <laughs> man well yeah so, nobody realized that he was a already an accomplished guy it had been through Detroit and stuff, so. Yeah, you know, he's, you know, the band did, they just thought he was some bar, bar player, you know, for this, Cassie's brother. Yeah, that's, a, that's a, definitely an interesting story. That's why there's so many, uh, there's so many people talking about it still to this day, like even us. Um, Hell, he had an know, album out, you know, Crawdaddy Daddy had an album out. <laughs> Nobody no, knew. um, wheelchair Chuck says <coughs> I'm all about losers winning. Yeah. There's been a lot of losers that have won here recently on the, uh, on the drawings just cause we're not paying attention. So stand by, you know, you might be the next loser to win. <laughs> <coughs> uh, they see. weren't losers. How could they be losers? They were well, just they yeah, everybody's a loser that didn't win it, except <laughs> if we messed up. Uh, let me see here. Jeff says, ass meter at the airport. Oh, that's what I was talking about. Like when you got to put your bag in that, in that little gauge to, to figure out if, uh, it's too big to bring as a carry on, but yet you can, meter, huh? Yeah, you need an ass bracket to stick your ass in to see if it's too big for the seat. Else you're gonna have to pay. <laughs> you have to pay oh, extra. You, go, you gotta fit between the ass meter. <laughs> That'd be a great one, yeah. Yeah. Well women would hate that, wouldn't they? Oh God. It'd be embarrassing. Ooh, get up to the ass meter. <laughs> ah, that'd be great. Well, it's if you can't sit in the seat without your 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 ass hitting on the armrests, then you got to pay extra money. God, can you imagine being so fat you have to use a seatbelt extension? My God, that'd be crazy. Well, some people when they drive a car, their stomach hits the steering wheel. Oh and... yeah, 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 yeah. That's we're sure. not making fun. We're just being uh, observative over it. Oh, yeah. Observation. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, here we go. Back. Chad. Chad says, I don't know what Chad this is. Uh, I wonder. Uh, it, it couldn't be Chad Reed. Uh, Chad says, someone please take that kazoo away from Craig. <laughs> and then Mark Frank, Mark Frank, uh, you know, he listens to the podcast and he said, thank everybody for all the donations. He really appreciates it. So yeah, Mark Frank, uh, leaving a comment as we were yeah, talking about the most, uh, he's getting the most money. Is he? Yeah. He's getting the most money. Yeah. Good for him. Yeah. Yeah, because he's getting the regular donations, and then he's getting a thousand dollars for that book that Lisa bought. So, oh yeah, yeah. So he's getting like the most money. Well, he must deserve it, Dan, because uh, that's the way it's it's fallen. Now that's the way the cards. Yeah, are falling, Mark Howard. So. Mark Howard. Mark Howard's right behind him now because he's got a couple of donations besides that one too. Uh, let me see here. Donald Johnson. How many times did they have to bail a member of the band out of jail so they could play the next gig? Just at, just Ronnie. Just, just Ronnie. Ronnie? Mm hmm. Just Ronnie. Yeah. yeah. What was it usually for? Just getting in a fight? When him and Chuck went that time, I don't remember why they ended up in jail. I, I don't really remember why they ended up in jail. Him and Chuck. Yeah, that's a good question. I don't I remember. Anybody... I don't remember why they ended up in jail. It had to be over a fight or something, I'm sure. Um, Autumn Honecker, uh, ex excuse me, it was cassie on stage without a top apparently they were both pretty bold yeah she was the one who was saying that she thought it was uh jojo on stage without a top and it, and it wasn't even it was in that uh play hair right greg yeah yeah cassie. it was one of the broadway broadway things hair or one of those yeah apparently it's on the internet because that's where she saw it oh i don't know huh. dave shelpman name that bong attitude adjuster <laughs> and uh jeff says this will have to name leaky <laughs> leaky that's the name leaky. of it leaky leaky <laughs> yeah that's leaking <laughs> oh uh, ls <laughs> ls freebird says I'm Lori Shoemaker. Remember, I couldn't remember her name. L.S. Freebird as Lori Shoemaker. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And she says, uh, I can't believe um, you said Fakawi Indian. I'm an Indian. And, that, and, and that's what my dad <laughs> used to say all the time when somebody asked him, what kind of Indian are you? And he would call... <laughs> He would say, we're the Fakawi. Well, we're the Fakawi. Where the Fakawi? That's an old joke. I heard that joke a long time ago. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, uh, Kenneth Radford says, American Spirit is the name of an organic cigarette brand. Uh, okay. I guess they sell organic cigarettes. Um, Craig, do you, somebody asked, do you own a Hoka, uh, sh do you own a Shoko shirt? Oh God. Yeah. Yeah. You mean an original Shoko shirt? Mm-hmm. Like from yeah. back in the day? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You probably got several of them. No, uh, uh no, I, I've sold some of those. I had a purple one with silver and I had an orange one and I cut the sleeves off all mine. Most of all, all my old ones had the sleeve cut out of them. Yeah, there's probably not too many uh, Shoko shirts that are around still. That yeah, from back I then. got, a, I got a blues Brothers Shoko shirt and oh God, I got a bunch of Shoko shirts. Oh, here we go, uh, Craig. Steve Jones says, um, the donation that uh, Ed King's shirt for $250, 
those proceeds were to be split between Gene and Leslie. Oh, okay. Well, I think I got that wrote. Two, $250 of it was supposed to be split between Gene and Leslie. And he says, okay. you counted the total sale, 500 for both items sold. And I, don't, I guess that's right, right? What do you have I Steve don't... Jones down Okay, there yeah. I, um, yeah, I'll have to. Let me see my <laughs> breakdown sheet here. That's why I announced it, so people could Right. Uh, well, yeah, he's just me, letting uh, you know that $250 of it goes sp okay, split Gene between and, Gene and Leslie. Okay. Then he asked Craig, as a drum roadie for Artie, did, uh, did he break a lot of sticks, and did he yeah. wear out the skins during a show? No, we changed the heads a lot, but... He did break some sticks, but he used five Bs, and five, five, five Bs are kind of not very thick. Bob Burns used two As, um, and they're they're like baseball bat, <laughs> they're big thick ones. But Artie used two Bs. Oh, so he eagle used tips, yeah. the the nylon tipped ones. Why did he like those? You know. Compared to what Bob Bird uh, used, I guess on the on the on the symbols they were they were tingier than the than the they 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 were kind of like a tingier sound than the wooden the wood wood hitting the brass was tingier than the wood hitting the brass. Oh, okay. The nylon hitting the brass was tingier than the. Uh, wood hitting the brass, you know. I think it would be Bob if Burns. A, if you take a quarter and tap it on a cymbal, it would be a ting, 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 ting. Oh yeah. Ting, rather, rather than uh, uh, taking a wood spoon and tapping it on the cymbal, that would go ting, ting, ting. I would, you know, you know, it'd be a tinger, tingier sound. Yeah, and and Artemis definitely has a tingier sound with the cymbals. Uh, <laughs> uh fat chicks that's her email name i guess says or his says he i don't know if he that's a i don't think that's good it's going to be a woman because nobody's going to say that if they're a woman <laughs> says he does just like craig and flies his rebel flag and trump flag and his libtard neighbors go nuts <laughs> you doing that right now, Craig? Are you flying your uh, Mister? No, T they're all they're all Trump. They're all Trump. Uh, the top one's an American flag, and then two bottom ones are Trump. Trump what's flag. the What's the feel for around where you live? Are there any uh, Mister B supporters? No, I don't see no? any. There's a lot of Democrats around here, but nobody advertises that they're stupid. You know? No, I know. There's a, Why there's would you a, do that? There's a few, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're going to be, there's some people that I've seen, they've got some, some, uh, Biden bumper stickers on their car and, you know, they're going around, you know, showing everybody how dumb they are. Uh, you know, you can't say they're dumb. You know, a lot of people are, they just believe what they hear on the news and they don't, they don't understand that they're brainwashing everybody. Kimmy wants to know how long have has Griff and Craig known each other? Oh, damn. What, Craig? About six years? Oh, I don't think he's been that long. Uh, 2016. Uh, Kathy, Kathy's been dead for two years, and it was about two years before that. About four years, I guess. Yeah? Is that all? Yeah. Seems like seems like six. Two, two, <laughs> I think it was it was like maybe 2017 or something like that. And Kimmy also says the 20th is supposed to be the first day of summer. 21st. 21st? First day of summer? Mm, so yeah, the 20th the 21st is the last of, day. It's the 21st of every 21st of December, 21st of July, June, 21st of uh uh December, June, <laughs> yeah, every three months, yeah. 
Uh, F your agenda says name that bong majestic Mary. And, uh, they also want to know, Craig, what were some songs of your favorite bands before you met Leonard Skinner? Oh God. I think I said before, I, I don't know. Uh, we, we, I just listened to the doors and, uh, and uh even uh um uh, moody blues uh black, black sabbath <laughs> atomic rooster <laughs> uh led, Ze led zeppelin you know uh i don't know uh yeah yeah somebody asked you that one time before then she yeah they then they ask me um i don't know if it's a guy or a girl what is griff what is your favorite go-to music for relaxing on your days off um yeah you know i i i like so many different things like you know i i remember back i used to i used to love leonard skinner uh, that second helping album back when i was in probably junior high and I, I used to love that second helping but i liked uh led zeppelin was like man that stairway to heaven was like my that was like my <laughs> favorite i love stairway to heaven and and the beatles i used to love the beatles and uh bad company bad company man they were to me all, all the same stuff that you know that the guys in skinner liked really was was my I think the stuff. Beach Boys was the first 45 I I mm -hmm. bought. I think it was California Girls or something. <laughs> yeah, or something yeah like. back then, you know, you you when you heard a song on the on the radio, you went down and you got that record. Oh, now, yeah. you don't do that, you know, you <laughs> go on iTunes, but you would go down to the music store and get a record and then you just play the shit out of it, you know, you just wear it out. I wouldn't wear them out. I would put a, you know, put it on there. Of course you had the, you know, the, the uh, needle when you put it on the record and it was not like, I mean, things have changed so much now. It's unbelievable. I think, I think the first words to a song I heard listen to was i'm walking ricky nelson i'm walking yes indeed and i'm talking about you and me and i'm hoping that you come back to me i'm lonely oh you remember it all i wait in your company and i'm hoping that you come <laughs> back to me what you gonna do when the well runs dry you're gonna <laughs> run away and hide i'm gonna run right by your side room you pretty baby i'd even die i'm walking yes, i've never heard that before talking about you and me and i'm hoping that Who you sings come that? back to me let's go diddly, 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 diddly. Who, who sings that, that was ricky nelson oh okay <laughs> I'm didn't he he died in a plane crash didn't he yeah yeah smoking yeah. free bays <laughs> really i think i don't know oh, damn yeah you still got that one memorized correct oh i was I, that was the first song i memorized yeah i think <laughs> that's almost uh yeah that's almost kind of like i thought i would have thought it's kind of like more of a country theme but i guess not ricky nelson um <laughs> i had see. six sisters you know so those <laughs> oh oh uh kimmy kimmy says uh crazy kimmy says that she's half cherokee i'm gonna have to argue with that kimmy i think you're from the <laughs> fakawi tribe for sure <laughs> Kimmy, you, you think you're Cherokee, but you're from the Fakawi tribe. Right? <clears throat> um, uh, then, uh, see PL PLS C 66. I like <coughs> the bong name Tuesday's bong. Yeah. I heard the, that one. That's a pretty good one too. Yeah. For the bong name. Do you, uh, <coughs> um, let me see here. Oh, 
Yeah, PLSC 66 wants to know, I guess they're trying to help us with the um with, with the subscriptions. Do you list when it, you know like keywords, Craig, whenever I'm not the one uh PLSC 66 that Craig puts them on YouTube, so uh, they're wanting to know when you put it in the title, Craig, you need to put Leonard Skinner behind it that way more people will I'll uh, click on it. But. Yeah, I have a about I have about f forty keyword different. Yeah, I know. Words. I remember helping you with those. I've keywords. even got I've even got fat in there. <laughs> I got yeah. third, I got third and fourth dimensions for that one time when I was talking about when I was when I was eating them mushrooms. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, then, uh, I think they thought I, I went to they, a different dimension. <laughs> you notice how on Facebook they don't throw you in jail anymore; they just limit the people that see your post. And I think that they do that probably too with uh, people's YouTube channels. Oh, they warn. Yeah, they warn me all the time. Man. It's, that goes against our standards. Yeah, but they don't throw you in jail like they used to. Like no, they warn you now. Before yeah, they, how long has it been yeah. since you've been in Facebook jail? It's been a long time since I've been. I know. In Facebook jail. I was but in I, there for a year one time. Oh, I was in there for a couple of years. I'd I'd get out and I'd be back in there the next day. <laughs> oh God, yeah. That's why I have two Facebook. Uh, you know, I've got oh, I had three or four, and then they caught me. They they realized I would had that, and then they cut them all. Yeah, off. You know, yeah, and, and then sometimes you don't even know what it is that you did. You know, like what what the heck did I do? You know, it's, I would I would see a post and repost it and get thrown in Facebook jail for. Yeah, uh, you know, I got I got it from Facebook. <laughs> that's right that's where the same thing happened i would to me. see a, I'd be a post on facebook and reposting get thrown in jail i remember exactly one of them that i reposted was this girl had a bikini on and all the pubic hair was hanging out from outside of the bikini and i just shared it and they threw me in jail for six months on that one. Oh god yeah <clears throat> that's where i got it was from facebook but uh all right, Craig. That that was the last comment. So, man, we're we're done. Oh, uh, God, good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gotta I gotta work on this uh this other pipe. I'm gonna I gotta uh, figure out a way to waterproof it now. So, research and development is uh, in effect. And um, yeah, that bamboo isn't waterproof. I thought it was waterproof, but it's not. So, I like uh, those stems you got though. Those glass stems are pretty good. Yeah, they they're pretty cool. They come out. That, of, our screen fit our screen fits right in the top of there. It fits, did it? Yeah, it's in there pretty good. Yeah, regular regular. I strides. told Craig. I told Craig to throw that one out, but he said, "No, I ain't throwing it out. We can still give it away." <laughs> I call it leaky. <laughs> yeah, we <we'll> call it <laughs> leaky. Yeah, that's a prototype. Yeah. So anyways, well, yeah, I guess that's, that's about it. And, that's a wrap. Uh, yeah. So I don't guess I'm going to play my kazoo. So, uh, go ahead and play you. it, man. Shoot. Yeah. Happy trails to you and see you <laughs> later, alligator. And that'll be a wrap for the stone roadie show podcast. Number one eighty five. Cut. Yeah.